because I understand the diversity mm -hmm. and I know that I'm very diverse myself. Who can, I mean, can I relate to the Jewish community? There is not a stereotype of a Jewish, what a Jewish person means or what, what a Jew is supposed to look like. The truth is, I believe that's why, just like you said, that's what's made you to be who you are today. Most of the people that are highly impactful, that I've seen, that I've read about in multiple books, be it the Asian Greek book, be it the Bible, they were always... Take Moses, for example, in the Bible. Moses yes. was raised in the um, in Egypt, right? But then yes. he was an Israelite. And then when yes. he grew up to become age 40, he was there was this conflict like, these are my people. But then he lives in the palace. So he's accustomed to being raised in the palace. But then when he goes outside, he sees his people being, you know, suffering. And then there was this specific fight going on. He was trying to stop the fight between two Israelites. And they were like, who made you judge over us? So he was trying to associate with his own people. And his own people were like, no, we don't want you to be around us. So at some point, he felt unaccepted in Egypt. And then he felt unaccepted by his own people. And then he went into the wilderness. But the, the the front and the back of the story was that he became the most influential person in the Old Testament. That's correct. And I believe who who better communicates with people than the person that has seen the extreme of the side and has seen the extreme of the other side. So if, for example, if someone wants to speak to, let's say, the Spanish and the Jewish community, I don't know as much as you do about the Jewish community. And I probably don't even know as much as you do about the Spanish community. So you will be in the better position to relate with both people because now you know both people. So I think there's something about, you know, you having this, even though you said you are still going, um, you're going, you still struggle with the identification. I think you're in a much more better position than most people, which you don't, maybe you don't know about it, but I think that's the case right now. Thank you. I mean, it makes me happy to hear that actually. But, um, huh, who, I mean, can I relate to the Jewish community? You know, me being Jewish and, you know, uh, from both sides, actually, mother side and father side. Um, and, you know, being a so-called Jew, because that's mm -hmm. what it is, you mm -hmm. know. And stepping into a synagogue where um, I'm, I'm literally called a spy. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, that was that was a situation that it was it was heartbreaking. Wait, um, by, by, so the, the by the Jewish people in the in the synagogue. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. It was actually in Brooklyn, a Brooklyn uh, white. Do, do they community. do they really understand the definition of a spy? Like, did they break it? I mean, that's just me. I'll be like, okay, let's break it down. Who is a spy, and how does this person fit into that definition? I mean, you know, I, I'm still trying to understand because so technically what the question was, are you Arabic? I said, no, I'm, I'm actually Spanish. I'm mixed, but I'm Jewish. Um, so, she, you know, she tells me, so what are you doing here? I said, what do you mean? I mean, my my family grew up in the synagogue and she's like who's your mother who's your father i say you know what i need i don't need to get into that she said are you a spy then why can we not know about your family i said i'm a spanish jew i'm so body she say how i i say how 
So you don't know that there are black Jews, there are blacks, there are Spanish, there are Chinese, there are Asian Jews, there are white Jews like yourself. There is not a stereotype of a Jewish, what a Jewish person means or what, what a Jew is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. We come in all shapes and in all colors, just like Muslims, just like Christians, just like Catholics. Mm -hmm. Being Jewish does not, does not mean that I have to have blue eyes and blonde hair. Mm -hmm. I, I told her just like that. And she just walked away. The last time that I actually went to synagogue, it was because I watched myself, uh, a black man, a black Jew, being kicked out of a synagogue. Hmm. So that was it for me. Um, and you know, I, uh, I mean, what can I say? I am, you know, I can connect more with, you know, people that I can relate more with, you know, that, oh, well, that is Christian, well, that is Muslim. I don't mind, I have friends of all kinds mm -hmm. because I understand the diversity mm -hmm. and I know that I'm very diverse myself. Mm -hmm.